¿cómo está? A safe, comforting space. You won't even feel it. For a not so comfortable Pero experience. Bien, ¿Está bien? Okay. Makes getting a shot in the arm a little less intimidating. The events that we do are a little bit different. We wanted to give people an experience that was different from the drive-through experience. That was a little bit more personal, where they get to sit down with a nurse ask the questions that they have so that they feel really sure. With the help of community organizations, Maria Milagros Canuso brings COVID-19 vaccines we'll start with 60 doses. to places where she knows people feel safe. Places like Nuestra Señora Madre de la Iglesia, a Catholic church in Commerce City. By the time we're done, we will have about 5,000 Latinos fully vaccinated. So it's been amazing, really. Maria is a nurse with Centura Health and one of the state's they're, vaccine they're equity champions. So that one's ready. Okay. For the last six months, she's worked to increase vaccination rates in Hispanic and Latino communities. I mean, they're still kind of shocking. When you look at the disparity um, in vaccination, it is still shocking. <laughs> Every day, you know, when I look at it, I go, oh, you know, we're still, we've made some progress, but there's still a lot of progress to be made. Nine wants to know analyze state health data from May 2021 that shows all regions of the state are struggling. I was just getting these gloves on. <laughs> Take, for example, Adams County, where 40% of its people are Hispanic or Latino, yet only 20% are vaccinated. The numbers have gone up slightly in the last month. So the, the bad news is getting less bad, but it's still, we still have a big gap. John Douglas is the executive director for the Tri-County Health Department. It's important to note 15% of the vaccinated population in Adams County did not report their race or ethnicity, but most of them live in predominantly Hispanic and Latino communities, according to census data. But that means that we may be doing better than we think because a lot of the unknowns might actually be from the Hispanic community. John agrees the vaccination rates are still disproportionate, so they continue to address access barriers by micro-targeting vaccine efforts in communities that need them most. We're all in it together, so if that community's not vaccinated, everybody uh, is, at, is at greater risk. Facilito, Maria and her team are doing the same. A common concern she hears is fear of taking time off work, even though a state law requires employers to give workers time off to get the vaccine and recover from side effects. I don't know that everyone thinks about that, but it's it really is a barrier, um, not just um, because an employer may not give someone time off, but because um, we don't always feel empowered to say something about it, right? So she doesn't see this work ending anytime soon. Some of it is just recognizing the realities of other cultures and, um, you know, acknowledging that not everyone has the same privilege. But each shot in an arm protects one more person against a virus that's already taken too much. Pase, pase, caspera. And one by one, she reassures them. The vaccine is as safe as the space they're in. Okay, here's your card back. Victoria De Leon. And just have you sit over there for 10, 15 minutes, okay? okay. Nine News.